Good afternoon, Poké Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 1 video. Bring you an Electros team. Now, you guys might have forgotten Electros exists, and I wouldn't blame you because we haven't seen it in three years. But now that it's here, we can remember what it does, and what it does is have no weaknesses because it is an electric type that does have levitate. You can now terrestrialize it into an electric type, do even more electric type damage with said Pokemon and still have no weaknesses. And on top of all of that, you can run it on the Trick Room team because it's very slow. You can go physical, can go special. You kind of have that option. And with the Psychic Seed, can be a little bit specially defensive here in this team. Now, this team is from Candle Clark VGC, who does have a YouTube channel. Make sure to link that down below in the description if you guys are interested to check him out. It does have great teams, great content, so I would definitely highly recommend it. The team that we're playing today is kind of a hardcore Trick Room team. You know, we have the Ndidi. We have the Armor Rouge. We have the Hariyama. We have a lot of the... Trick Room Pokemon that just kind of take over the game once they're on the field. Well, I guess that includes Electros now. We also have the Electros with the Psychic Seed to just help deal that electric type damage that we need crucially. Also, we have a Vaporeon, which is a Pokemon that I haven't used yet, but I know is very good, specifically against Dondozo. So I'm glad that we have a Pokemon that is specifically here to counter Dondozo. That makes me feel really good about it about this team. Now, on top of that, I do also know Vaporeon is very strong. I remember I had a couple, I had a hard time against Vaporeon. I don't remember what video it was, but it had to be like maybe two weeks ago. I remember having a very hard time against Vaporeon. Also, Sylveon here. We have two EVs on this team. We have Sylveon with Throat Spray just to, you know, do some pretty strong spread damage stuff. And yeah, that's the team. I mean, I'm just excited to see what Electros can do here in Series 1 meta. This is one of our final Series 1 videos. So thank you guys so much for sticking around this whole time while we transition into Series 2. So if you guys are excited for Series 2 content, let us know down below in the description what kind of Paradox Pokemon do you want to see first. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Ash Ketchum from Pallet Town is here with his hard Tailwind team. Now they could have a Imprisoned Trick Room on that Gardevoir, but I do have Hariyama that could stop the Gardevoir from moving. So let's just go ahead and lead with the Hariyama, lead with the Armor Rouge. Sylveon is amazing here, except for, you know, against that whole Glamora situation. And then I guess Electros should be the last. Electros, also amazing here. Like, if we get rid of the Gyarados, we can get rid of the Gyarados with the Garchomp, with the, the Electros. We can get rid of the Murkrow with the Electros. The Garchomp is the only thing standing in the Electros' way in terms of doing damage. My other big concern is actually the Glamora. Glamora's gonna have to get hit by our Marouge really early. And I didn't bring my Ndidi, which is a little bit weird because, yeah, Ndidi does kind of hold the team together very well. And I just decided not to bring it because the Ndidi would have procced my Psychic C and the Ndidi would have given the Expanding Force a spread move and more damage. So I might have misplayed there. I might have just not realized how crucial the Ndidi is to the actual core of the team. And then just been a little bit negligent there. But it's no big deal. I'm sure we could still come out on top. We might still have enough. All right, Ash. Let's see what a world champion leads with. Let's see what a world champion looking lead looks like. Murkrow Glamora. I'm not mad. In fact, that's pretty decent. Um... He forced the the grass tear out of me, that's for sure. Ooh, here's the problem, though. Do they sludge bomb me, predicting me to go for grass terra? Or do they power gem me? Oh, this is a harch. I have to... Oh, hear me out. I have to fake out Glamora. And I, like, low-key have to Expanding Force it now. Because I'm about to get taunted by Murkrow. Yeah, I'm doubling Glamora. I'm going full aggression here. Show me the taunt. I don't know why I want to get taunted. I just feel like that's what's going to happen. That's why I made the play that I made. In front of Hard Trick Room, you Tailwind? Really? Oh my goodness. All right, well, can I get rid of Glamora? Of course not. Well, that's not great. Okay, if my opponent is the kind of person 
to Tailwind in front of an obvious Trick Room. Are they the kind of person to call my Terastalized Grass? I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm going to try to Trick Room. Don't sludge bomb me, please. <laughs> Just whatever you do, do not sludge bomb me. Let's see if my opponent makes that play. All right, we are a grass friend now. We are a friend of the grass. Yes, okay, good. They didn't make that play. All right, awesome. Call my foul play. Doubling up, doesn't matter. Setting up Trick Room. Drain Punch is going to finish off the Glamora, and we're going to be in a great spot. Now, hear, hear me out. What could have gone wrong there is... A Sludge Bomb would have stopped me from setting Trick Room, and then I would have been in trouble, because the rest of my team is incredibly slow. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, why the Tailwind was set, and why there wasn't a Taunt, but I'm also not complaining. Gyarados is coming out now. Gyarados could be the Terastalizer. The one who Terastalizes. But I kind of want to wait and see first. I think for now, I'm just going to try to get some damage off on this Murkrow. Maybe even try to finish off the Murkrow if I have that opportunity. Murkrow isn't, like, going to win them the game, but it's also a little annoying. Just constantly smacking with foul plays. It doesn't look like they're Terrasalizing Gyarados yet, either. I wonder what they're waiting for. I just kind of want to see what it is, just so I know what I can do with my backline. Until I see what it is, I can't really do much. Watch, they're going to Dragon Dance here now. Make sure that they outspeed me. Nah, I'm sure they're just going to finish off my... Yeah, EQ. EQ is a smart play. It's going to finish off my Armor Rouge. Do some damage to the Hariyama at the same time. Here's the thing. I can't go into Electros yet. Or can I? Can I go Electros? Because the thing... The reason why I don't want to go Electros, I guess, it, it is simply because... I don't want to be put in a situation to where they ground Terra... And then I can't do damage. We are underground. Okay, Electros is coming out. Garchomp's coming out as their final. I have Wide Guard, so Garchomp is not too serious. I think Wide Guard plus maybe a Coil. Maybe just Wild Charge right away. Might be okay. Especially since we just saw the EQ coming from the Gyarados too. That's why I think they might just be ground Terra Gyarados. But it looks like they're not. They haven't terrestrialized. Oh. Thanks for the Gyarados, I guess. They just gave it to me. How are you just going to give me a Gyarados? Dragon Claw. Yikes, I died to burn. Oh, it's a Life Orb Chomp. Extra yikes. I think I have two turns after Trick Room, or is it one turn? No, it's probably three. It's two, it's two, because I set Trick Room a turn late, right? Yeah, there's a Tailwind Peter. That, that's the fourth turn, and I set it a turn late, so I have two turns left. Into Sylveon we go. Oh, yeah, Poison Spikes. <laughs> Forgot about those. No big deal. It's a good thing VGC only lasts, like, four turns anyway. Let's go for the Hyper Voice. Let's go for the Crunch. Let's call it. Call it a game there. They could terrestrialize here. They will terrestrialize here. Let's see what they terrestrialize into, though. It's going to be ground. This means fear in my eyes. The good news is my they can't hit my Electros. So I'm, I'm just chipping away. I'm all good just chipping. My Sylveon, on the other hand, is going to hate this. Oh, it lives at one. It hangs on. If my Sylveon lives, I just quick attack. But I, I'm not so sure that'll happen. There's the EQ. There's the Levitate. Not today. All right, Electros is showing why Electros is considerable. Oh, we live. GG. <laughs> they died a life orb anyway. That's right. Awesome. Gonna take a first win with our Electros today. Hey, man, I'll take that. Electros did a thing. You know, it, it, it existed. It KO'd a guard chop. Hold on. Yeah, let's take a step back. It actually did do a pretty good job. Not going to lie. All right. GG, Zash.
Speaking of Don Dozo, here we have Don Dozo. All right, well, Vaporeon and done. No, okay, so yeah, we're definitely gonna bring Vaporeon. I don't think I wanna leave with the Vaporeon though. Their team definitely doesn't wanna go against Trick Room. So I, I think my best bet is to set up Trick Room if I can. Does my NDD have Trick Room? Beautiful. All right, so theoretically, I don't even need the Armor Rouge here. Or I don't even need the Indeed here because I do have Fake Out and Wide Guard. Yeah, maybe I go Sumo Hands and Armor Rouge in the back. Then we bring Gaspacho, the Electros, and OG, the Vaporeon. I like that. I like those four. I think that this team struggles against Electric. I don't know if the Pama is Volt Absorb, but it could be. But if it's not, then we just, you know, hit him with an Electric move or hit him with one of our other moves. We can hit him with, you know, Sumo Hands over here, the Hariyama. All right, green eyes. Miascarada Pomod's going to be their lead. Interesting. Interesting because if they're going to fake out my Trick Room Setter, all I have to do is fake out the one that will do damage to the Trick Room Setter, right? And then I set up Trick Room anyway. Let's try that. Yeah, they're just going to fake out our Setter, so we fake out the other one. Okay, well, it's a very uneventful turn we just had. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I wonder what they were going to go for, though. That is always an interest of mine. Uh, I think here, what we should do is Steel Terra and Drain Punch. I mean, we take this opportunity to hard swap out. I just don't know until what. They're definitely gonna go for like, they might go for an electric move. That's what I'm a little bit concerned with. Okay, do we have to Steel Terra? Not really, right? So let's just go for the Drain Punch onto the Miascarada. And let's Grass Terra. And go for the Trick Room here. I feel like Grass Terra is really good for us. I didn't I didn't want them to force out the Terra this early on me. But I'm, I'm, I don't think I have another choice. I think this is my, my only choice here. Now what they could do is go for like a U-turn. If this is like a banded U-turn with Protean, I'll take a lot of damage. In fact, I don't even think I live that. Okay, no, they just knock off, fine. Fine by me. Transform into a dark type and knock off. That's actually gonna do a lot of damage to me. Okay, that might be banded, like Loki. Oh! Armor Rouge! Oh my goodness, that's all thanks to Kanto's EV spreads. Whatever they were, they're great. <laughs> Don't know what they are, but they're amazing. Oh my goodness, Trick Room's up, baby. The one HP Therastalization live, we're fine. That's all we needed. We're in this, we're here. It's a good time to be alive. They got no electric typing left. They can't even terrest. Oh, they can't terrestrialize, right? I'm the one that burned terrestrialization, not them. So I guess if they wanted to keep the double shocks, they can terrestrialize their palm up, but whatever. I'll leave that up to them. They did bring the dozo, huh? It's fine because we have haze. Just keep that in mind. It's fine because we have haze. I am going to just drain punch the dozo. I'm going to take this opportunity to Expanding Force Palmot. They could hard swap into Tatsu, but I feel like I don't really have another play here. I need the damage dealt to the Palmot. All right, Dundozo is actually going to out underspeed me in Trick Room, which is huge. That means that it probably has a lot of speed investment on that Dundozo. They're actually going to live at 1 HP too with the Focus Sash. Hey, fair. There's the order up. Thankfully, no Tatsu in their mouth, so doesn't mean like they're going to get any boosts from this. They do get a free hit onto my Hariyama, though. I'm not so sure I'm going to appreciate that, but it can only be a fighting type move, right? Oh, no. Oh, they just they they just palm modded me. They hit me with the palm mod. I just got rid of that Miascarada. Okay, good news is I can just one shot it again. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's also not great news, though. Here's a question. Do I just go Vaporeon? Or do I just like show them Electra, scare them a little bit? What do I decide to do here? I'm just gonna go Vaporeon. Just say, hey, look, I dare you to haze. Or I dare you to uh to bring in Tatsu. I'll haze it right away. I'm actually gonna drain punch. I drain punch either one, but I think I'm drain punching Don Dozo. I'm just selling for an ice beam onto the Palmot. Just in case they swap in the 
Tatsugiri, Tatsugiri there. Okay, they actually swap out that spot. No way they go into Tatsu. They have to go into Miascarada. Miascarada is going to take a Drain Punch. Yeah, okay. Well, Miascarada already wasted its time. <laughs> well, it's gone now. <laughs> Whoa. Miascarada is not here anymore. I guess their only hope was that I would target down the, the Palm Op, but I really have no reason to. Maybe they wanted me to waste the Haze, but again, it doesn't really matter. I'm just thriving in Trick Room. It's all good. Now, all that's left is their Dondozo and Tatsugiri. It's great news for me. Because it means that I just have to click one move and be fine. I still have one or two turns left to Trick Room. Here comes Tatsu. I love Vaporeon. I love that Vaporeon is decent in Series 1. Like, that makes me feel good. I think Series 1 had to happen. Like, imagine that we'd just be playing with Paradox Mons right off the rip. Like, we'd never get to experience things like Vaporeon and things like, I don't know, Skeldurge or some, like, you know, some of these cool Pokemon that we're seeing. Sunflora. Tropius. You know, my whole, like, last week of Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, let's just go for the Drain Punch and the Haze. Poor friend. I guess he's just hoping that we don't have Haze at this point, but yeah, we just have Haze. That's all that we're going to do is set up Haze. I like how Hariyama's hands match Vaporeon's whole body. They go for the EQ here. Wow. All right. Well, good thing that you don't have any attack anymore. <laughs> no damage. Oh, that's beautiful how little damage that did. Yeah, they can't hide anymore. That's game. I don't even know what I have. I have acid armor. Is that what? Like what? Plus two defense or special defense? Doesn't matter. I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch. I said armor. What does it do? Chopper boosts its defense stats. I don't need that right now, but it's good to know I have it. Let's just go for the Ice Beam in case the Tatsu swaps in. They're just going to battle cancel. Hey, I get it. I get it. Once once a Don Dozo gets hazed, it's like, oh yeah, well, well, well what do I do? I'm kind of stuck here now doing nothing with a Tatsu gear in my mouth. It's a 2v1 until it's not anymore. Regardless, GG's. Another Gyarados. We saw Gyarados earlier today. Oh, I see a Zumaro, I see a Moongus, I see Gothadel. You have to assume Paris Trap. You have to. How do I stop Paris Trap, man? Is it Ndidi Armor Rouge? Is that really it? No, it's not. Is it Sylveon? It might be Sylveon, actually. Sylveon's like low-key pretty decent here. What if I do Sylvia and Hariyama, bring a Trick Room Setter in the back, probably in Didi, and then bring the Electros here. Oh, this is not going to be easy, though. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be very hard to break through this team. I always struggle against Paris Trap. Because it's annoying, right? You got you to gotta really be... The problem with Paris Trap is that Paris Trap requires you to think of the whole game in Team Preview. So you have to go through every single turn in your mind while you're choosing your Pokemon. When normal games are just, oh, I just have to focus on the lead and then work my way from there. Paris Trap is like, okay, I have to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then maybe I'll win. We'll see how this plays out, though. We'll see how this team performs against Paris Trap. Now, I'm assuming the Goth is going to be the lead. Goth Azumaro. They, they ain't wasting no time. They are not wasting a precious moment here. Alright, so I guess neither am I. Hyper Voice. Fake out you. They have to fake out my Harry, or else I'm faking out their Azumaro. Okay, fine. You wasted that turn. I waste that turn. No big deal. Nothing happens. Now my option changes here i now have guts boost now my my goal is to knock out this one but that one probably protects so i should go for the other one yeah i guess knock off goth is gonna protect because goth has to stay whoa they're letting me switch Okay, so I dare you to click Pear Song now. That was a very strange play by them, not gonna lie. 
just for the intimidate. I wasn't gonna do the damage anyway. Great damage there. Get a nice crit on the Gyarados. Unfortunately, the Citrus is gonna proc. It hardly procs too. There's my throat spray. That's a little that's a little unfortunate. Because now my knockoff is gonna do very little damage. But like I said, I can now swap out. So yeah, like I can just leave. <laughs> I'm just going to double swap. There's no other play here. Like, good for you. You can't trap me here. I'm not going to sit here and wait around either. At least not with the Harry. I might sit here and wait around with the plus one Sylveon, though. Like, real talk. I might just click Hyper Voice again. I'm considering it, and I think I will. Now, let's go into Indeedy. So that... If they bring Goth back in, Goth can't fake out. I kind of just want to take advantage of the fact that I have a plus one Sylveon in the field and just keep smacking my opponent. Make him feel really bad. All right, there's their swap out. Back into Goth, most likely. Again, Goth is going to take a plus one Hyper Voice. It's all good. And they protect here. They're going to have to meet their maker eventually. As long as you can just keep smacking them, then eventually, the damage will add up. All right, Parish falls to two on both Gyarados and Sylvie. I could double Hyper Voice him here. Actually, I think I'll. I think I'll Psychic the Gyarados spot. Just in case the Gyarados hard swaps. I'm pretty sure Gyarados will hard swap. I think Gyarados has to hard swap. Like, what else is it doing on the field? Or in the game? The Goth is going to protect because the Goth can't go for fake out. But then next turn, I can hit the Goth. Mm -hmm. Next turn, I can hit the Goth and uh, stop them, thankfully. They go for a Waterfall. Actually, stay in and go for a Waterfall. That's a little aggressive. The Psychic might even be enough to knock out then. Yeah. All right. I guess maybe I should have followed me there to keep my Sylveon as healthy as possible. But at the same time, Sylveon dies in one turn, so. Oh, I flinched anyway. It didn't matter. Okay, so now that I need to go for a Double Protect or a Hard Swap onto Goth. Which they do? No idea. They probably bring back Azumarill. Yep. Azumarill should not be able to outspeed my two Pokemon here. And I think a double Hyper Voice is fine. They mostly build the Azumarill's bulky on Paris Trap. They withdraw the Goth. They don't want to lose it. Hey, listen, as long as I can chip their team, my Pokemon in the back are fine. That is not a great one to be playing up against. Not going to lie. Not not happy I'm seeing that one. These are Moses Protects. Okay. This Hyper Voice will do something. It's neutral. That Hyper Voice won't, but the other one will. They at least can't sucker punch my side of the field, so I will take that benefit. Sylveon, unfortunately, will go down to my neg negligence, but it's no big deal. Okay, I think I'm going to try to throw them off. I'm going to bring in my Electros. Every time Electros comes in, the field disappears. That's the second time it's happened. All right, got my Psychic Seed. Not that it matters too much. I think here I can just go for a Drain Punch onto King Gambit and follow me. Just because they can technically Sucker Punch the uh, the the Electros, and I don't want them to do that. They haven't set Parish Song yet, but I'm sure that's what they plan on doing. Here's the thing, though. If the Parish Song happens, I think the Goth versus the... the the Goth versus the, the Hariyama in the back, I think I win that with Hariyama and Knockoff. 
From the HP that the Goth is at, I think I win that. Okay, they're gonna Terrastalize right away. The Azumarill, wow. It's a ground. Well, I didn't go for an electric move on you, but you're gonna learn that soon. You will learn that soon enough, my friend. Go Tau Cleave into my Didi, unfortunately. Will leave me at the Sash. Drain Punch should finish you off. Beautiful. Now, if they perished, then I think we're okay. We'll see. All right. We can't swap here. But my Hariyama will not get perished. So everything I do from this point on has to be to ignore Azumarill because Azumarill will die in three turns no matter what happens. And focus down that. That thing. Let's crunch. And let's... Just hyper voice, I guess. Just focus down the goth. My brain hurts too much for this battle, man. My brain is on fire. <laughs> can we even win? Battles can- Yes, we can! When they're just gonna forfeit in the middle of it. Gee, that trainer card looks like a person that would be playing Paris Trap on the ladder. Anyway, let's go ahead. Get you guys that rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Electros team. And I think I, I wasn't counting, but I think we got three wins in today's video. Neither three wins or two wins in a very close loss. But I think it was for three wins. We beat a Paris Trap team with this team. We we brought Electros to nearly every single battle. We were able to one shot a Gyarados. We were able to defeat uh, a King Gambit with Drain Punch. So I think Electros definitely did have a pretty nice showcase on the video. Vaporeon absolutely amazing against Don Dozo. Sylveon doing an incredible amount of damage with the Hyper Voice. I think this team definitely has a lot of interesting niches to it. And typically, I don't like running hard Trick Room. Typ typically, I like having a Trick Room team that could also go fast. Maybe two fast modes or, or something. Two Pokemon that can go fast. And this time around, I, I played Trick Room with zero issues. I mean, even in, in, in one of those battles, Yarmarush did live at 1 HP. That's right. I almost didn't get Trick Room of that game, but hey, that was a weird game anyway. <laughs> that game was wild. But overall, I do really enjoy this team. I never got to Terra Electric the Electra, so I have no idea how much a Wild Charge will do with Terra Electric, but I'm sure it does an incredible amount of damage. Make sure to grab the rental code if you guys haven't already snagged it. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. You know, you guys know that watching till the end really does help out the channel, help the channel grow and just reach more eyes. So I do greatly appreciate it. Also, Kanto Clark, thanks for making this team public. Make sure to check out Kanto Clark down below in the description next to the Pokebase and rental code. Give him some Poke Sports love. Anyway, I'm Ken Spokey Sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night and peace out. Bye bye.